Good morning, happy Friday. It's Tim Wilde. It's very cold and frosty out here. And um, I might get a bit of a runny nose, but you'll just have to put up with that. It's, uh, at least it proves that I'm not a an AI reconstruction of somebody who looks like Tim Wilde. So yeah, here we go. What I want to do this morning is basically rewind a little bit and um, talk a little about the actual functional structure of what we're moving into and that would be 5d so a lot of the questions or the 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 a lot of these friday talks that i've been doing since this time last year have all been based on things that i can either see in my reality that i know are of importance and will be of importance to people coming to the page or they will be based on a collective of questions that I have received about a certain subject. Just recently, I've had quite a few people asking me, what is 5D? You know, and, and thinking about it, this is a term that I just use almost thoughtlessly now when I'm, when I'm speaking and, and presenting and workshops, live events, little meditations, Friday talks. The term 5D or fifth dimension is bandied around in, in our field with, with you know, it, it's without much degree of explanation. And what I want to do a little bit this morning is break down my definition of what 5D is and why we're moving into it and what a shift from 3D to 5D actually entails. So I'll start at the beginning. We, we since the, the dawn of humanity, we have lived on a third dimensional planet which was constructed as a learning plane, as a school. So when we were born into that school, when we were born into that space, we were basically, if you think about what you and I experienced at the beginning of our incarnations, we kind of like, you know, we're popped into this tiny helpless body with very limited kind of access to any spiritual assistance whatsoever. The only things that we have to rely on are our parents and the agreements that we've made with them kind of karmically when we came down here and our job was to grow spiritually or and and still is at the moment is to grow spiritually from that tiny person into the masterful adults that we all are now <laughs> so third dimension was designed to be incredibly tough it was a school and I say was past tense because that school finished on the cosmic moment it officially ended on the 21st of December 2012 so what is 5d you know what what is all the excitement about well the fifth dimensional version of reality that we are currently moving into involves us at a much higher frequency functioning from the heart rather than the ego okay and all the fuss that we are experiencing at the moment the transitional window through 4d it's another term that you hear people and me included using quite a lot is you know we're currently slap bang in the middle of this very tumultuous kind of passageway from one state of consciousness into another 5D isn't a holiday destination and I, you know, I'll hold my hand up quite readily. I used to actually, at the, at the beginning of, of all of this fun and games back in 2012, I actually thought, you know, fifth dimension sounds great. You know, when am I going to pack my bags and go there? It's, it sounds wonderful. And of course, it couldn't have been, <clears throat> it couldn't have been any different if, if we tried it, it. It began from, from, the minute we moved into this moved into this bandwidth of change this transitional window from the 22nd of december 2012 onwards it has been nothing but um shifting clearing raising our vibrations moving through the most incredible range of tests and initiations and and here we are at the moment actually experiencing and seeing tangibly with our own eyes what happens to a planet when you apply a high frequency to an ex <laughs> to an existing blueprint the, the the third dimensional blueprint that has been there since the beginning of our journeys on, on in physical life so it's not a holiday you know like i'll say it again 5d isn't a holiday destination it's not somewhere 
kind of magical and shiny that we're going to just wake up in tomorrow. It's a gradual shift. It's a building process. It's something that at the moment we've already laid the foundations for and we're building on top of. So the majority of you listening to me at the moment will already be holding, um, it might not feel like this, but the majority of you will already be holding a fifth dimensional frequency. You work on yourselves daily. You work with your bodies, your fields, your chakras. You work with the angels, the unicorns, the ascended masters, the dragons, the, 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 the galactics, all of the other souls that are gathered around us that are of already existing at this higher vibration are assisting us to move into this higher state of consciousness. But as you will all know, the movement from ego to heart is one of the most, <laughs> it's one of the most incredible and, and, mo and, and most difficult to traverse leaps that, that you can possibly make. If you think about how this planet has operated, um, particularly since the fall of Atlantis for the last 10,000 years, it has all been based on control, on, on illusion, separation, um, not just separation from kind of each other, but mostly, you know, when I say separation, I mean separation from source. We had our spiritual connections, but we had to work really, really hard for it. And most of it was based in religion. It was based in, in, in faith, in kind of, you know, that, that whatever tiny little pieces of tangible spirituality that we could actually connect to. And very, um, you know, quite amazingly in the last 10, 20, 30 years, particularly since the, since the harmonic convergence, that has begun to expand exp exponentially to the point where we are where we are at this moment in time on this planet. And we are holding this incredible frequency, this incredible vibration, but we're still in our physical bodies. We are still, I'm still me, you are still you. But we have all of these expanded connections, this spiritual growth, we can see the change and, and the, you know, the, basically the, the controlled demolition of the way of life that we, we knew previously. There's a lot of people out there that are still very afraid of what is going on on this world. And the reason why I speak with such confidence about where we are going is because I know the plan. The, pl the plan was laid out to me decades ago about this transition about where we are going about the fact that we are suddenly going to you know literally overnight begin the process of raising our frequency and i'm i'm excited on a daily basis because i'm actually in the middle of it now i'm in the thick of it i'm i'm doing what i incarnated to do and before i was doing this i was extremely bored i was misguided i was looking for things to fill that space and a lot of you will be feeling the same now. You will be you will be like, wow, okay, you know, life might be quite scary, it might be quite challenging, there might be things going on around me in my world that that are are threatening what I would regard my personal safety. But we're shifting, we're moving, we're building, we're creating at a higher frequency. And in the middle of this is our personal energetic process, and that personal energetic process, the the core of it. The majority of what is going on in our reality is the shift from ego to heart. So I would say moving into the fifth dimension, moving into 5D, is moving into a state of heart-centered consciousness. And when we talk about having a fifth dimensional planet, and we will one day, and it's not, to, it's not, it's, this isn't fantasy, and it's not too far in the distant future, and Diana Cooper, originally gave the target date for a five you know like the the what we're moving into is 2032 and if i'm absolutely honest with you i think we're going to achieve that a lot sooner the progress that we've made has been incredibly it, it it's been forward moving it's been so strong and there is so much more progress than I originally thought we'd make in such a short space of time. I think we're going to do it before 2032. I genuinely do, um, because, because it just hap it's happening all so fast. So what do we see from a fifth, you know, what is our fifth dimensional holiday destination going to be like? Well, it's going to be very similar to the world that we live in now, but 
we're going to be living in it in a state of heart-centered consciousness rather than a state of ego-centered consciousness. Now that, if you think about it, changes absolutely every platform of reality because in order to function at that higher level, we have to leave behind everything that does not resonate at that frequency. And that means the corruption within politics. That means the unfair system of finance, the, 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 the system of currency that flows around this planet that benefits a lot of people and then doesn't benefit other people. The, but the balancing out of how we treat each other on a personal level, which, uh, which is, you know, the, the majority of us of refining that process on a daily basis, you know, the, 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 the clearances that we've made within our personal lives is astonishing. And it all, begin, it all begins with the sacral clearances. If you ever want to know more about that, have a look at my previous videos. And penultimately, it, and, and how we treat the planet how we treat animals and trees and birds and plants. We can't take the way that we were functioning at into the future because it doesn't work. It's not of a high vibration. So in order to step into that high vibration, we have to reform the things around us that, that need to change. That is why we're going through what we're going through at the moment. The massive shakedown, the controlled demolition of of everything that you can see around you is highly necessary, which is why I trust the plan. I trust what is going on because even though it looks on the on the outside, it looks on the surface level like the, the baddies are taking over the planet, they're not, okay? They're simply playing out a role in order for us to function at a higher frequency. So those are the, to me, they are minor technical details. What, what I'm looking at, is the energy that you and I and everybody else who's working in this field are actually creating for us to live at a higher level in the very near future. So 5D isn't, you know, I'll say it again, it's it's not about us packing our bags and, and flying off to a different place. It's about being here. It's about being in the now. It's about being grounded. It's about being it's about being heart-centered rather than ego-centered and focusing completely on manifesting the reality that you wish to see in your world around you. And that is an art form, okay? Uh, and, and it's an art form that we're being very well trained in at the moment. If you think about the quantity of triggers or distractions that we have the opportunity to work through at the moment, they're every day. It's social media, it's the news, it's the people around you. It's the, you know, all you need to do is unplug from the fear that you are surrounded by on a, on a daily basis. And all you, all you will feel is love and peace. There are two distinctive fields. There's no, there's no kind of wishy-washy middle ground at the moment. The, 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 those, those spaces have defined themselves and are and have now solidified and that happened the line was drawn in the sand and you've heard me use that term quite a few times at the end of last year now a lot of people also mentioned to me that emphasis is put on certain dates like say you know the cosmic moment which was the 21st of december 2012 everybody who was expecting fireworks on that date were disappointed Everybody who was expecting fireworks on the solstice at the end of 2020 were disappointed. They're like, well, why hasn't everything changed overnight? And it's because this is a gradual, this is, a, this is an energy process. You can't just simply eradicate what exists and replace it with what you want to see. You have to create it. It has to be built. It has to have... It has to have a structure. Like, say, for example, <coughs> you build a house. You, you, suddenly, one day, you decide to exercise your God-given building skills and you build a house, okay? And you build that house without foundations. Okay, you might live in that house for a period of time. Like, say, you might get a month, you might get two months, you might even get a couple of years if you're lucky. But one day you'll wake up and there'll be cracks in the walls and there'll be cracks in the walls because you didn't build any foundations. So everything has to start from the ground upwards, the foundations, the structure of the house. 
and 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 then all of the and then all of the other bits of pieces like the second skins the fittings the plastering the decorating all of the other things that you see going on with a new build all occur within a they, they all happen stage after stage planned a certain way because that is the way a house needs to be built and it's exactly the same with the process that we're undergoing at the moment if you skip any of the parts that are essential for the building blocks it won't work and so where we are at the moment regardless of how uncomfortable it is is an essential part of the shift it is absolutely essential for the people that we are waiting to catch up and they will catch up okay and uh, so if, if it is their choice to do so, then they will make that transition. They will walk through exactly the same energy gateways that we have already walked through. They are simply just taking a little bit more time to integrate and to wake up and to assimilate the incredible difference that actually occurs within your reality when you, re <laughs> when you realize that, 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 that one you lived in previously has no relevance. It, it was it was basically an illusion tied to tied to many different control factors so i know i've kind of digressed slightly this morning but this is this is why i wanted to explain a little bit especially for those of you that are out there that have joined the page recently you've heard a lot you've heard a lot of these like very kind of like tip of the pyramid terms 5d 12 chakras uh, you know work uh, and for some of you this this might be quite new it might it might all be like well where do I start best place to start is is <laughs> you know if you come to this page I've I've tried to make it as practical and as simple as possible you don't there, there's I don't believe where we are at the moment there's anybody who isn't capable of stepping directly into the frequencies that are presented here because um it, things are very different now let's say we say we were kind of dealing with the 12 chakra column 10 years ago yeah you had to work for it because physically mentally emotionally spiritually we weren't quite ready to integrate on a full level that chakra column we still had loads of stuff to clear but now every single one of us on this planet even the people who, who really aren't quite awake yet are using that that 12 chakra system everybody you can see in your reality around you has the same structure the same four body system otherwise we simply wouldn't be visible to each other we've changed frequency that much so i personally believe that it is it is a, a we are we are simply building very quickly at the moment uh, the, the 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 foundations of our new reality and the 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 definition between the two spaces has become so distinct that you you choose one way or the other you choose one way of thinking or one way of consciousness over the other in order to create whatever reality that that you wish to live in so the fear it's there you know if 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 it is your choice to be living in a state of fear to be worried about things then there is an absolute abundance of that energy and that information that, that that kind of that that cocktail to to kind of like you know to 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 feed the needs from but it's not necessary because the other the other field the one that's ba and and it does I'm I'm not going I'm not going to lie here it does it does require trust it does require faith and it does require sort of like you know a a a target to, to for for what we're actually building and what we're actually achieving here the other side of it is a very very peaceful very love based reality and like i've said previously it's at where at this precise moment in time being the calm within the storm is probably the most important thing because if you're calm if you are the if you are resting within the eye of that storm and everything else around you is whipping around you at a million miles an hour other people will immediately pick up on that vibration and they will become calm too you you are a catalyst for peace you are a catalyst for love you are a catalyst for these fifth dimensional frequencies so being 5d isn't about the it isn't about the destination it's about the vibration that you are holding at this precise moment in time and it is easy it is it is easy to maintain that 
with a bit of spiritual discipline and some focus and some intention. So I hope you found this useful today. I hope I've explained it um, effectively. There is lots more information on my on on this page if you go through the years or if you if you want to if you want to catch up on previous videos go to my website www.timwild.com send you new loads of love hope you have a beautiful end to the week bye for now